All right, how you doing, Final Wordy Ends? On today's episode, we're going to get into Was Savitar Really the Victim of Season 3? All right, how you doing, Final Wordy Ends? My name is Lee Boy. You're listening and watching Lee's Final Word. Today, we're going to get into a flash video. If you like this video, hit the comment section below. You all know, hit the liking button and don't forget to subscribe. Today, we're going to get into Was Savitar the Victim of Season 3? Was he really the victim? Was he the true person? That um was really the victim here, even though we saw him kill Iris. I know what you're saying. Well, how can you say that, Lee Boy? Iris Iris was the victim, but um, let's think about some things here. Was Savitar the victim? Um, Savitar was basically created. He was a temporal duplicate. You know what I'm saying? Temporal duplicate that was made to basically take the L. And when he did, they told him to beat it. They told him, don't you ever come around him. So when he took one for the team, he was treated like crap. Okay, he came back, nobody wanted to deal with him because they didn't think he was the true and living Barry Allen. He was just a copy. My bad copy at that. Pizza face copy. He was wasn't he wasn't Barry Allen, okay? He just wasn't, okay? Iris wasn't trying to go to bed that Barry Allen leaving season two, going into season three. Um basically he wanted to do something that heroes really can't do and they can't change things they regret. Okay, you can't, you just can't, okay? Batman without his parents dying in an alleyway, wouldn't there would be no Batman, okay? Okay, side note, why is it that every time some superheroes, most superheroes gotta have their parents die or someone in their relatives killed? What's up with that? Batman and his parents, Superman and his parents, Flash and Nora Allen, what's up with that? Anyway, let's move on. Now, he created Flashpoint and didn't know that it was going to create all kinds of turbulences and consequences because he was thinking only about himself, okay? Think about it. He didn't think about Iris, he didn't think about Joe, he didn't think about all the things that he did have, alright? Now the death of Nora Allen by the hands of Reverse Flash, that was horrific. You know, we're not denying that, that was horrific. But he didn't care about, you know, having Iris. He wasn't satisfied with the things that he had. Now let's think about some stuff here. Caitlyn would have wished Barry would have used his powers to go back in time and save Ronnie, okay? Cisco would have loved to still have his brother, okay? These are all things people will have dealt with losses and Barry wasn't trying to deal with his own. Okay, he wasn't trying to move forward. Now, the victim, again, I'm going back into it being Savitar because with Savitar, let's think about this for a minute. He was created as a temporal duplicate, time remnant sort of thing, and he could never go back to his own time. He could never go back and fit into the pieces and puzzles that he was into already with his own life, his own Iris, his own Cisco, his own friends, his own everything. He was made to come there and take an L, okay, he agreed to take that L, let's just put it, let's put that out there, he agreed to take that L, but the, the funny thing happened, like he said, that he survived, Flashpoint created all these things and brought about the existence of Savitar, now I'm not going to go into the origin of Savitar, how he was created and how he was made, it's a bootstrap paradox, it just keeps going, okay, just loops, but anyway, besides all that, the victim here, Again, Savitar, not able to go back in time, not able to go back to his own thing and do his own thing in his own timeline, in his own uh, niche and world where he comes from, which, you know, same thing as Barry, has all the feelings and emotions. And when he took the L for the team, when he was really the one that put his life on the line and sacrificed to save or help Barry Allen, he gets treated like a stepchild. So what happens in retrospect? He gets angry. He becomes a villain and wants to destroy Barry Allen. Yes, destroy his former self, but not only destroy his former self, but destroy everything he's accomplished, everything that he's put uh, so much trust and so much feeling into to create Savitar, to push him to that point to create Savitar, just like I said in my video. But um, it's it's crazy how that works because when you start to think about it, you start to put in perspective that yes, you do feel sorry for Barry for what has happened in his life. He lost his father, he lost his mother, but at the same token, all of this loss created Savitar in itself. So the real villain of season three isn't the reverse flash, it isn't even Savitar for that matter. Everyone could really point the finger at Barry and say he is to blame. Now who's the villain, Flash? Now who's the villain? And I think that's the reason why when he goes into the um, Speed Force, when they come to get him at the end of Season 3, it kind of makes sense that he doesn't put up a fight. He doesn't put up any resistance or anything like that. He doesn't try to bargain a deal or anything like that. He knows what he's done wrong. He knows that he has to pay. Like, really creating Flashpoint really messed everything up. It, it really, um, 
had a really a ripple effect. I mean, too bad the show didn't really capitalize and do a really good job on expressing that. But at the same token, um, you know, I gotta I gotta say one thing, Savitar. You're not getting away, man. You're not getting getting the fist because you know why I try to kill a buttermilk. And we ain't with that, okay? I don't care if you're the victim. I don't care if I think you are the victim. But for trying to kill a buttermilk like Iris, you get the fist, man. I'm all, I'm not happy with you. What's up with that? Anyway, I digress. I digress. I digress. But anyway, do you think that Savitar was the villain? Am I, am I over playing this a little bit? Am I bugging out? Because if you think about the situation with Savitar, let's think about it. You create a duplicate. You can't just get on the phone and call your duplicate self and, and act like everything is going to be all right. And hey, me from about three videos ago. How you doing? No, no, no. This is, this is a call from the future. Yes, yes. Um... Well, bad news, bad news, real, real bad news. I need you to come, um, I need you to come take an L. What's that? Oh, no, 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 you, you're gonna, you're gonna be alright. You just, just need you to come now if you could. Find some way, talk to Odin or something. You maybe use me on there, you know, break through the time rifts. Come, come, come now. And I need you to take an L. Can you do that for me? No, no, you don't, I don't want to take, smother, how you gonna up on me? It's not like you can do that. I'm on the road to 5,000. On the road to 5,000. Do something real big. I'm going to do a giveaway. You guys help me reach there. Every subscriber means uh, so much to me. It makes me continue to make these videos. Make sure you follow me on social media because YouTube notifications suck. The algorithm has changed. If you're not um really following your content on people that you really like you're not gonna see it all right so once again my name is lee boy hit the comment section below hit that liking button and don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace